YouTube, Auburn fans out there. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. We're talking to Auburn football. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. So in 2020, the Auburn defense is going to look a little bit different than it has in the past. Now, I want you guys to hear me out on this one. I think these guys can be pretty good. Um, I think you're going to see a backtrack, so to speak, as far as maybe points allowed. I think these, these guys are going to allow a few more points than the defenses in the past because you have to think about it like this. You're going to have a drop-off in defensive linemen. Now, you just can't replace Derrick Brown and Marlon Davidson. It's just not going to happen. The concern I have is the amount of pressure that this defensive line is going to be able to put on opposing quarterbacks, which was Marlon Davidson, Derrick Brown, Tyrone Truesdale, Cornish Miller, those guys' M.O. One thing I do think that this is going to be a pretty decent run-stopping defense. I think you got some athletic linebackers. They did a great job of upgrading at least as far as speed and range with K.J. Britt in the middle. Owen Papo, you put him pretty much anywhere on the defense. Then my biggest concern is the safeties, Jamie and Sherwood and Smoke Monday. The reason why this is somewhat of a concern, because I want to know what impact are these guys going to have? Because when you had Jeremiah Denson back there and you had Daniel Thomas back there, you literally had some tackling machines. These guys pretty much were among the top three as far as total tackles on this football team. Jamie and Sherwood and Smoke Monday, they just come off as the traditional safeties. I'm trying to figure out how they're going to continue the tradition of safeties helping in the intermediate portion of run support. Now, sometimes it's got Auburn beat deep because the safeties like to cheat up a little bit. But that's something that we're definitely going to have to look out for. I'm not convinced at the moment, especially with Auburn not being able to have a spring football training. I'm not convinced that Jamie and Sherwood and Jeremiah Denson, not Jeremiah Denson, but Jamie and Sherwood and Smoke Monday are going to have the same tackling impact as Jeremiah Denson. And Daniel Thomas. So guess what that's going to do? That's going to put a lot of pressure on the Buck linebacker. He's going to have to be a little bit more productive. Uh, Also, the linebackers are going to have to be even more active in the running game because I'm not sure just from an athleticism standpoint and from a skill set standpoint, if Jamie and Sherwood and Smoke Monday are going to provide that run support that Daniel Thomas and Jeremiah Denson were accustomed to doing, especially with, I I just don't see that as their skill set. Now, as far as coverage, I think they'll be great in coverage. Um, I think Smoke Monday's speed is actually inflated a little bit. I don't think he's as fast as we think he is, but at the same time, did was very productive in the defense this year. Also, we need to see with this factor involved where KJ Britt elevates his game as far as pass coverage because he got caught slipping a few times against Florida especially so we'll see how his coverage has upgraded as well but like I said before it's hard to see with not having spring football in play best case scenario best and worst case scenario These guys will be able to get back in action in July, assuming that we actually even have a season. But these guys get back together in July and actually have some form of supplementary training before they hit fall camp. That's best case scenario. Maybe even well, I'll say best case scenario could be middle of June. But it's going to be really interesting to see how much different this defense look. Not saying that they can't be good, but it's definitely going to be different. Without those veteran guys there, the Javaris Davises there, Noah Igmanogany, after looking at some of his film from last year, this guy was way better than we thought. That's why he's a number one. Uh, that's why he's a first round draft pick in the NFL. Great on coverage, performed very well against the top tier wide receivers in the SEC. 
So let's look out for this. This is just a quick video uh, for you guys today. Something to sleep on, maybe something for you to wake up in the morning. As far as Auburn football goes, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.